So uh, welcome uh, all of you to this course which is BE200 and the course as you know is related to principles of marketing. What we have in this course? Um, the course is discussing the idea of marketing or the science of marketing. And the science of marketing um, has a lot of um, details uh, like for example the first of all we need to discuss the definition of marketing and later on we need to see what is the relationship between marketing and customers and what is the uh, also relationship between the suppliers or the retailers and the customers and we have also in the in the book um, some idea about the strategy of marketing and we will take also some information about customer behavior or consumer behavior so we have a lot of things to do in this course okay let us uh, see the the course calendar and by the way this course calendar is for the previous uh, semester it's not for this this semester but I think it will be also for uh, this semester. If there is any change in, in the course calendar, then I will let you know about this change. Uh, anyhow, the change will not be uh, major changes. Okay, there will be a minor change. Okay, as you can see in the, in, the, in the Word document here, in the course calendar, that we have chapter one, Okay, and chapter one is related to marketing, creating and capturing customer value. This is chapter one in the book. Okay, we will take this, this chapter and also we will take later on chapter two, which is related to the company and marketing strategy. Okay, and uh, this uh, chapter is also including the customer, building customer relationships. How can we build customer relationships? Uh, chapter three is related to analyzing and assessing or studying or researching marketing environment. What's the environment here? I uh, will tell you inshallah what the environment. Okay, we, uh, in chapter three, we will take analyzing the marketing environment. And uh, chapter four is related to the consumer behavior. Consumer behavior is a very um, large part of the course so we will split it or we will discuss it in two uh, lectures after that the midterm assessment it will be in the eighth uh, week and the midterm exam will include or will cover uh, chapter one three five and seven uh, sorry chapter one two three and five this is chapter five so chapter four, we will not take it. We will take only chapter five. Okay. So after that, uh, we will go through chapter six, which is related to business markets and business buyer behavior. So we, we have in chapter five here, in chapter five, we have consumer behavior. In chapter six, we will have the business buyer behavior. Okay. In chapter seven, we will have what we call the customer driven marketing strategy. How can we make a customer driven marketing uh, strategy? Um, we will uh, discuss the idea of segmentation, targeting and positioning, which, which we call it STP in marketing. We call this STP. Chapter eight, this is chapter seven also. Chapter eight is related to the product, services, and brands, building customer value. So here we will discuss the products or services. Okay, and finally we will have in chapter, I think chapter 10, we will have the pricing. We will have the pricing. 
So as you see here, we have only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chapters, from which you will you will have four chapters in the midterm exam, uh, and and five chapters in the final exam. Okay, I think the previous chapters, chapter one, two, three, five will not be included in the final exam. Okay, if there is uh, some, uh, uh, something will be included in the final exam, I will let you know, inshallah. Chapter one, creating and capturing customer value. As you know that marketing is all about the customers. Okay, how can we create value to the customers? This is what all the marketing about. So this is the uh, course, uh, the, the out outlines, the topic outline of the chapter. First of all, we will define the marketing uh, uh, and we will answer the question of what is marketing. Then after that, understand the marketplace and customer needs. So chapter one gives you a lot of things about the course and after that, each part or each topic discussed in chapter one will be discussed in different chapters. Okay, so first of all, what's marketing? And then after that, understand the marketplace and customer needs. Uh, after that, we will take designing a customer driven marketing strategy. And this is, this is the uh, segmentation targeting positioning and we will take it in uh, another chapter. Uh, then after that, we will have preparing and integrated marketing plan and programs. So this is the marketing strategy and planning. We will have also uh, uh, some information about building customer relationships. And this is related to the C, uh, CRM or customer relationship management. Okay, capturing value from customers. Also, we will discuss this idea in a different uh, chapter. Uh, the changing market landscape. Okay. So what's marketing, pulling, pulling it all together. So at the end here, at the end, we will have a full picture about the marketing. So what's marketing? Marketing, as you can see here in this definition, is a process by which companies create value for customers and build strong customer relationships to capture value from customers in return. Okay, put lines under capturing, okay, uh, sorry, creating value for customers. This is one important thing in the definition. Okay, building strong customer relationships. This is another, another uh, important thing. And the third thing is the capture value from customers in return. Okay, so what's the meaning of this definition? The meaning of, of this definition can be uh, clarified by an example. If you have a company and this company make some products, okay, first of all, you need to know exactly what are the needs and uh, uh, wants of the customers. You will not make the products until you know exactly what are the requirements of your product, of your customers. Okay, you will ask the customers, what, are, what, do you, what do you want from this product to do? And then you will capture the, uh, uh, the data or we, you, you will capture the information from the customers. Okay, and based on this information, you make a good product that achieve the customer needs. Okay, so here you are creating value by creating a new product. Okay, you are creating new value to the customers. Okay, so after that, when you sell this product to the customers, you do not want the customers to leave your company or leave your product uh, uh, forever. You need this product, uh, this customer to again to buy from you again, to buy uh, your products again. So you need to make strong customer relationships by building 
by making good and strong relationships with the customers okay you will make sure that the customers will come again to you and buy your products and services so this is the second part of the definition which is building strong customer relationships why we build customer uh, relationships because we want the customers to again and again uh, buy our products and services okay so what why you do everything all of these things why you make products why you make good or strong relationship with the customers in order to have some value from the customers which is the m money which is the monetary value and this monetary value uh, is uh, what you uh, what you are looking for as a business okay so this is three <clears throat> major things in the definition that you need to know exactly what is the meaning of them okay so here this is the process of marketing this is the process of marketing first of all you need to understand the marketplace and the customer needs and wants what we mean by marketplace we mean uh, the competitors okay we mean the uh, demographic uh, factors of the customers we mean everything related to the environment this is what we mean by marketplace marketplace means the uh, everything surrounding the process of marketing okay and also you need to understand the customer needs and wants this is the first step in marketing and then after that after you get and understand the customer needs and wants you make or design customer driven marketing strategy what is the meaning by customer driven uh, marketing strategy we mean three things we mean the segmentation uh, targeting and positioning that means if you understand the customer needs you need also to understand who are your customers of course there are some groups of customers who like your products and there are another also groups of customers who do not like your products so you need to know exactly who uh, what are the groups that uh, that uh, like your products and this is what we call it the segmentation so after the segmentation and targeting and positioning which is the second phase here or the second step here after that we have to construct an integrated marketing program that delivers superior value that means here we need to exactly uh, develop um, a product or service that can uh, uh, give some values to the customers <clears throat> after that we make or build profitable or strong relationships with the customers until we reach what we call it the customer delight the customer delight means that the customer is very very interested by your your uh, your products he is very satisfied by your product when the, the customer is sat is very satisfied by your product we call it we call them a delighted customer or or customer delight okay we call that we call it that the customer reach the customer delight level we make everything here for the value that we capture from the customers and here most of the time the value will be monetary value okay <clears throat> this is an important um, uh, dis discussion or uh, important information about uh, the difference between needs wants and demands what is the meaning of needs what is the meaning of wants and what is the meaning of demands when i say the customer needs i mean like the food the customer or the uh, or in uh, the, the individual needs some food he need to wear some cloth he need to buy a house and so on okay so these are some examples about the needs of the customers here 
for example, the physical needs. Um, uh, by the way, if you remember in, in uh, course 203 or in course B120, you have taken the Maslow hierarchy of needs, which is begins with the physiological needs, and then after that, after that, the, so, the uh, safety needs and social needs and so on. So these are the needs that mentioned in Maslow hierarchy of needs, like for example, the physical or social or individual needs. So this is the needs. What about the wants here? The wants are the different alternatives of products and services that achieve those needs. Like for example, if you are hungry, this is a need. What do you want to eat? Do you want to eat kapsa or do you want to eat hamburger or do you want to eat broasted or any other foods available in the market? These are wants. Okay, so this is the difference between needs and wants. طيب, what if you want to eat anything but you don't have money? Okay, what if you don't have uh, money to eat what you want? So you, are, you will not be a customer. You will not be a good customer. So the demand here, the demand here is the same as the wants but with purchase power. When, when you have buying power, when you have enough money to buy a product, then this is demand. This is the demand. So this is the difference between the needs, wants, and demands. Exchange here is a very important concept in marketing because um, exchange means that you take something from, from somebody and you get and you give him something. That means there is an exchange relationship between you and another uh, individual. In, in marketing, exchange means that there is a relationship between, um, between the, customer, the customer and the marketer or the company. And they are exchanging a lot of things together. Okay, so the exchange here is the act of obtaining a desired object from someone by offering something to return. That means there is a relationship between the customer and the company. And this relationship, we call it exchange relationship. That means the customer is taking something from the company, which is the product and services, and in, in return, he give the company uh, the money, okay, or the, the, the price of this uh, product and services. Okay, so this is the, uh, the, the marketing system or the, the exchange relationship. Let us, let us see here. We have here, we have the supplier. Okay, the supplier gives some products to the company. Here, we are in, here, we are in the, as a company here. Okay, we, and we also in the, in the same time, we have some competitors in the market. Okay, and there is also marketing intermediaries. And marketing in intermediaries are those companies that exist between the company and the customers. As an example here, uh, let us say that we are here, we are uh, uh, Pepsi Cola, for example, Pepsi Cola, okay? And the marketing intermediaries are the, the people who, um, who take Pepsi from the, from, the, from the company, okay, and give it to the customer. Like, for example, the supermarkets here. The sup we, can, we can call the supermarkets, we call, uh, we call them marketing intermediaries or retailers sometimes. We call them retailers, okay? And here is the customers at the end. So sometimes there will be a relationship between the company and the customers directly. And most of the time, the relationship is, go, uh, is going in this way, from the company to intermediaries, from the intermediaries to customers. So this is 
what we call it the uh, marketing system the marketing system in, in any any place in the world in any place in the world we have supplier okay who provide the companies with for example spare parts or raw materials and the company develop and create the products and send it to the marketing intermediaries and marketing intermediaries will uh, sell the the product to the customers designing a customer driven marketing strategy and this is one of the most important topics in marketing and we will discuss it inshallah in separate lecture okay uh, the market segmentation what is the meaning of market segmentation the market segmentation means that we divide the customers into smaller groups and each group has similar uh, customers as an example here if we are a company that sells uh, cloth for example then we have different types of customers we have like for example uh, men we have women and we have children so these are those are three types of customers that we can say that what that we have three segments three segments men women and children so when when you when you divide the customers into different groups we call this process we call it market segmentation that means we segment the market into different parts or different uh, groups why we should divide the customers into different groups because we want to see which group or uh, groups are uh, good uh, we can call them our customers like for example if we try to um, have an example here let us uh, say that you are samsung samsung uh, which uh, develop um, galaxy note for example when samsung created or developed uh, galaxy note uh, they make segmentation or they segment the market into different groups and they try to find the group that can use the galaxy notes okay let us say that they find they found that a small group of people the men for example and women between uh, 25 and uh, 40 okay who are working in a private sector or in a, in a government uh, organizations those can be our customers in those can be the galaxy note customers okay now they decide who are their customers this process we call it targeting process or target marketing target marketing means that we try to find the best customers that we can sell our products to okay so this is the target marketing and by the way um, uh, we have another and we have a third a third concept here but it's not written here which is the positioning positioning means when we target the markets uh, sorry when we target customers we need to know exactly where we should put our products 